Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Colonel Robert with the Do Pay Do State Network. I just wanted to say thank you very much. Last night we had 2,000 subscribers on the channel, so hopefully somebody's uh, getting something from it and uh, doing better in life. Um, woke up about 12:30 last night. Couldn't go bed back to bed for about an hour and a half. So I always tell people my smoking hot mistress came by. Her name's Insomnia, and uh, of course, she paid me a visit. It wasn't any fun, so um, went back to bed, and uh, I got an eight o'clock appointment with a uh, roof estimate with a customer that we got to get uh, signed on contract, get that turned in, and the ball rolling. Um, Carla and I were working on the house on um, 48th Avenue, putting a vent fan in there. We got to fish the wire in the wall and uh, make it so that um, it comes on when uh, the light comes on. You know, these things take a little bit of time, but they'll pay off exponentially over the long haul. You know, and the biggest thing to remember is, you know, sometimes the short-term savings of not doing something will not outlast the long-term benefit of going ahead spending the money and doing it, you know, and I know y'all hear me talk about this a lot of times, but a roof is a perfect example, and, um, you know, there's nothing fun about a roof, there's nothing sexy about it, there's nothing, you know, they're just not fun to spend all that money on something that you really don't get any kind of enjoyment out of. People are much likely, more likely to spend money on a jet ski, Harley, uh, new purse, um, you know, a uh, pontoon boat than they are, uh, you know, buying a roof. Um, however, that roof is going to pay for itself by protecting the house. And the thing is, is that if you've got a roof that is not good, then you're going to end up having problems and it's going to cost you a lot more money. And so, you know, the thing that I always look at is, What's it going to cost me today, and what's it going to cost me a year from now? What's it going to cost me five years from now? You know, and the thing is, is that putting these vent fans in a bathroom in my rentals, it pays off because once you do that, you know the problems that you're going to have because of it not breathing properly in there with all the um, condensation from the uh, warmth of the shower and everything. It's no longer a problem inside the bathroom. And if you don't do it, you're going to end up having some issues, you know. So the thing I'd encourage is, is you know, it's kind of like, oh, no, I'm not going to put that set of tires on the car just yet. There's still a little bit more tread. There's still a little bit more tread, you know. And then you find yourself in a rainstorm or on a slick spot on the highway, and then all of a sudden you lose traction. Boom, you're in a wreck. Now you're a couple weeks down because you can't get the... Uh, uh, vehicle fixed at the body shop quick enough and you know you didn't have insurance to get the rental car and now you're out extra money and so it was like you know did you really save anything by not going ahead and getting those tires on you know I um, I run 14 ply tires on my dump trailers they are expensive um, I can run cheaper you know but if I was going down the road and that tire blew, blows out because it's not the best that I can buy and I killed somebody or even if I killed one of y'all's children because the trailer got out of control and everything and I sat there and I said well you know it was worth that $75 or 50 bucks or whatever you know I'd never be able to live with myself so my thing with you today is look at the long haul think about exactly what it is that you're doing what you're going to be spending the money on, and where the benefit's going to come from. I hope you have a wonderful day. Merry Christmas Eve, Eve. And uh, if you need me, holler. Um, got a message from Florian. He did make it in the U.S., so glad to hear about that and everything. Y'all have a wonderful day. Be good to yourself.